Hi, everyone. I had a minute prep. Howdy, one. This is, this is a bit of gaming with Kirby. Play some Crash Bandicoot. Pause on. Controller. You got the good stuff. <laughs> Crystals. Slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the, on the surface, surface, then we'll need, need to find, find an, an enemy. enemy. Howdy, everyone. My name's Kirby. This is Gaming with Kirby. Battery is dry. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Crash and Bandicoot now. Yeah. Uh. There we go. I had to check something on PC quickly. Hey. I am playing in suit, and it. Paws on, rocking the f oh, I'm like so used to Crash 4 as of recently. <laughs> How's everyone doing? If things are too loud, I can adjust things. Okay, I'm gonna just do a quick... Oh, I can manually adjust in the game. Well, well, well. well. If, it if it isn't, isn't Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. Welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your, your help. help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through we each got donations door lies a well-hidden crystal. Go for it. The crystal Donate. Look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Uh. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. There we go. Alright. I need to mute my... Be on do not disturb for Discord. Uh, sound effects bleeding through. <laughs> there we go. Did not foresee that happening. All right. So hi everyone. My name's Kirby. This is Gaming with Kirby. Thank you so much! I'm having- So, a little background of me. I am an American streamer. I am on the East Coast, so it was a little bit easier for me to be a part of this. Uh, the art on the right was done by my friend, uh, Pencil Lion. Uh, he since has moved to be a tattoo artist. And with that, the audio cut out. Okay. Um, I'll wait a moment. Okay, I get a good shot. High jump. Cool. All right.
Funny enough, I can do glitch high jump easier with the, with these on. So as you probably noticed, I didn't collect any boxes. The reason why is this first level has a secret gem if you don't hit any boxes. And plus, we get a special mean Cortex thing. Cortex gets angry when we don't collect crystals. So, that's half the fun. <laughs> no, no, no. Crystals crash! I love the crash dance. No, 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 crash. Save the crystal. More time. Crystals crash doors and bring me crystals. I'll give an introduction again if uh, audio is sounding better. But, yes. I figured I'd show off uh, Cortex's mean, mean-spirited attitude. If I don't collect crystals, he gets mad. He does that about three, three times. The good stuff. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? It's the afternoon for you guys. Look up at the doorways. There is a big crystal-shaped slot. Fill all five crystal slots in this warp room by retrieving one crystal from each of the five areas. Only after we have filled all of the slots in this room can we continue on our quest. This is the last time I remind you. Okay, yeah, that's the last time he'll remind me. So, let's actually play the game. <laughs> I'm doing great. I have... A stream for the next and a half. I work this by and so swamp of it. So, a little introduction about myself. Redoing this now. Yeah, I need to collect these. So, so used to that. Uh, I'm Kirby. I usually play uh, doing gaming with Kirby, as I call it. Uh, normally, not in suits. Normally not with Cam. This is a special occasion. Uh, Crash Bandicoot is one of the easier games for me, especially in Fursuit. I've done it a few times myself, and I figured that would be great. Uh, you're gonna hear Streamlabs stuff and see Streamlabs stuff. I do apologize. That's how the stream is. I could... Do something about that, but I can't really do too much right now. I missed that. <laughs> Ooh, playing with a mask is a little harder. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I am an American streamer, I usually play 8pm Eastern Time, and I love playing Nintendo games. Crash, though, has been one of, like, those one weird go-to games for me that I just absolutely love. I think my mic's getting out, but let me bring my mic a little, bring my mic a little closer to me and turn up the sensitivity a bit. There we go. I can turn off uh, sub notifications and such, or not sub notifications, uh, follow notifications, that's causing damage to the screen. But, 
I did not collect that life. Oh, good. Let's tie jump work. We did it? We made it? Did we make gold? I feel glad if we broke it. Playing in pause is a little bit tough. Perfectionist when it comes to this game. I'm no speedrunner, but I've seen I uh, I use a lot of speedrun strategies in my in my runs of the Crash Bandicoot. There we go. Got the green Neo Cortex talking again. Well done, Crash. Well done, I knew Crash. I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my loots, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? 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 Are you there, Crash? Are you there, Crash? <sighs> Got Coco coming out soon. Glancing at chat, talking about donation stuff. Cool, invincibility. All right. Oh, I got a little too close. Poor depth perception. <laughs> All right. to happen. The Crash is a lot of people's favorite character. A lot of people grew up on this character back in the day. I actually never grew up with Crash Bandicoot. I uh, had a uh, had Nintendo systems in most of my life, and neighbors had this. This was this was the game that I absolutely adored, though. What have we got?
more time. <laughs> no, Crash is just like... That's a good game. Uh, any tips for anyone who is playing with pause? Uh, part, personally, part of my opinion is do your best. Uh, my pause, at least, can't complain too much. I, uh, for sure, for, for playing with paws on and being in suit, it is a little bit tricky. You have to, like, figure out where your buttons are half the time. And it's just a little bit, it's a little bit tricky, I will definitely say the least. I, my thumb is always on my, the A button, so I don't, like, misplace it. Thumb is always on A, so that I don't accidentally do something else with it. <laughs> and R is on the, well, let's say it's on the, it's on the normal trigger, yeah. Uh, otherwise, get a big controller. Bigger buttons, if you can. Easier to press and mash with. I've done on this controller and, uh, what else? I've done it on the Pro Controller. This is the Series 1 controller. Buttons are touch bigger, a little bit easier to feel out through the paw. Otherwise, I mean, go for it. Everyone's different for feels and whatnot, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, and you are helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet, you have acquired a gem. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. <laughs> If the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to f f focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you <laughs> from gathering crystals. <laughs> All right. Exposition. Doing my best to keep an eye on chat. I didn't get the checkpoint, I gotta run. Well, timer. I forgot about this part. that save. Twenty two seconds. Can I make it to the end in twenty two seconds? Let's get this gem. Ooh. I can get the main crystal anytime I want, but all right, let's get it going. <laughs> Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. 
I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. So far, so good, everybody. We're doing it. Do that. That's mighty unfortunate. The first death of the run. But not too bad. That's a jump. Problems with pause. You hit more bu than one button. <laughs> Keep it going, keep it moving. I jumped again. Okay. So check my eyes. I only need to get those first two crates. Okay. anything in chat. Of course. What other games have I played in suit? I have actually played quite a few. I have done Mario Kart myself playing in first suit. I have also done, my favorite one actually, has been uh, playing Smash in first suit. As that extra challenge. The switch buttons are a little bit easier on the Pro Controller, and honestly, it is a ton of fun. Checkpoint somewhere. The only problem with this game is hard running backwards. Whew, that lighting did not look good. But yes, I have streamed Smash, I've streamed Mario Kart, I've streamed Crash. Crash is like the easiest game for me to play in two. I know Crash 2 front and back. No, I have not played one-handed, but that does sound like a bit of a challenge. It, especially if you play in... If you play in a costume or a fursuit or anything like that, uh, it is it is a challenge. All 
right? I'm just trying to remember my own strategies for this. I want to try and get the gems if I can. If I spun that. <laughs> All right. Um. Otherwise, I I tend to stream on just like special occasions with the suit. Um. Depending on like the weather and such, it can get really warm really fast. You have a fan in here, which is like my favorite favorite part of this new head. I got it l middle of last year, so it works a lot nicer. The fan is just a blessing, and you can't hear it. That's like the best part. It's very quiet, and it makes it just very much more breathable. A lot of time when I do first suit, I just do just chatting more so just due to the problem of playing in suits. Uh, be a little bit difficult. Comes more of a gimmick. And for me, I like my gimmick of doing funny voices a lot. Uh, favorite series to stream for sure has been uh, Paper Mario. Uh, Paper Mario, I just like voicing all the characters and doing funny voices all the time for people. Oh, I almost... <laughs> I almost ate it there. Ah, uh, There we go. If I can help it, I'm gonna try and get the crystal... or the gems as well as the crystals. death of the run. Just as bad as the first. But good times for everyone, honestly. You guys... Ah, oh, still Bort. Good old Boulder Steve, yes. It's just, I want to say it's a 50 millimeter or 80 millimeter fan in there. It is harder, like, just making sure my thumb is correctly on the, uh... <laughs> correctly on the buttons and stuff. And glancing over the chat does not help at all. Why hum? Belt it out. Da-da-da-da! Da-da-da! Da 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 Oh, oh. No. My life was impressive, but then I just... fell. Da 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 da
I missed one crate, but the boulder actually breaks it. Does the fan blow in or out? I have a fan that blows in. And it actually just circulates out of the eyes. Just because there's enough gap. So in the cold weather, it looks like my eyes could be steaming. <laughs> Ripper Roo, first boss. How's everyone feeling? How's everyone doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's such a pleasure to stream for you guys. I think it's just this corner. Ooh, ear vent. That doesn't sound too bad. Right on me. There goes my Bethel boss battle against him. Your infections are no good. <laughs> That's how all the patterns are always the same. Except I just didn't remember. <laughs> At least for the last one. by Ripper Roo. On to the next level. For everyone who has played Crash before, you probably know about this. If you haven't, I am so sorry. I just want to get extra lives. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a little polar bear. There's actually achievement for it as well. Jump on him about 10 times and then you get 10 lives. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to Bosses business. Bosses were always like that, yeah. There are crystals to be gathered. 20 to be <gasps> exact. I see Vanderdeer typing. The planets will align shortly, all 13 of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however. The crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Hi, Vander, dear. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, okay. Crash. I can't keep I will leave the polar bear shelter. alone. Crash, you need to go. I can leave the polar bear alone. But, I will... I just need to put back into the game. 
All right. Ah! Don't know what happened. <laughs> so sorry. I saw like everyone say panic. I'm like, oh, it's probably just a feed. But I didn't know it was my feed. <laughs> So my bad. Oh, right, face cam was gone. I had to. I had to do something so that I could see things again and fix that. And now I need to switch back to game. There we go. Bandicoots are go! There I am. Hi! Ye fussy face. I try. Hi, Van! Bring the mic a little closer to me so everyone can hear me. Hi! Let's get a jump. Uh, sort of. Um, so the the actual reason you can play as Coco is she's from the future. She teleported in from Crash 3, which is literally about time. She wanted to find a new battery herself. But yes, it is switching places, but she is a Coco from another timeline. And yes, she does carry around her laptop. So, even though Crash 4 is called It's All About Time, technically Crash 3 was all about time too. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me. That boulder didn't break that one crate. No! One crate missing! I'm just playing for playing now at this point. Coco in another castle, perhaps? Yeah, a little bit. It's more of like... Terminator. Just kind of comes in when you need it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, entropy. Yes. That's why that's a time travel platform. That's where she comes from, just right next to where I was. You saw it for a brief second. Was it... The first of all of these. I love these levels. Always had that creepy factory vibe. I did not plan that accordingly. <laughs> Hard to now out of out of this a little bit at times. I forgot the eel was there. Okay. I'm so used to Crash 4 for a lot of different things, including uh, the ability to see where I am jumping over. Coco have her own games yet? Nah. But technically now she is one of the play main playable characters.
A lot of people don't remember, know about this a little secret area. getting shot a little bit of a shocker i know <laughs> pun intended but in reality i actually have the green gem still so it's a speedrunner strat Okay, I have to say in the drum little intro for uh, for uh, all these like bonus stuff, it's always fun because all I can think about is like it's a MIDI file somewhere. Like, classic. Have I ever done a speed run? No. Would I love to do a speed run? Yes. Do I know that I would be very poor at the speed run? Yes. <laughs> but nonetheless, it would be fun to do a speed run or even honestly a speed run race. Like, race against someone. How does it feel knowing that? Uh, how does it feel? It feels fantastic knowing that we hit $10,000. Donations are still coming in, I'm sure. It is incredible. Like, I, I said this earlier on, it's such a pleasure streaming for you guys because honestly, you guys are awesome. You have raised so much for charity already and it's, it's just incredible. You meet your goals and it's just, it's just a nice pleasure to just be around you guys. Race you for tail? I would gladly race you. Like, you pick, you pick a Saturday, Saturday morning for me, afternoon or something for you. Pick it, we'll figure out a game, we'll race. We'll race. Not just Mario Kart, but like, we'll pick a game and race, like, any percent race. I would gladly, gladly do that. That would, that would be a, amazing. Crash is one of those games, so like when I had to pick, I picked a game that maybe other people could participate in originally. But, uh, when I told, I was told that Pertail was doing, uh, was doing Mario Kart already, I was like, well, I can't do Mario Kart then. Uh, and so... Gladly, uh, I picked Crash because this is the game I know front and back. I have played in first suit before, and at least shows off my showcase a little bit. Ah, uh, dang it, Gem! I missed the crate. What crate did I miss? What the heck? I always hate when that happens. Uh, I missed a little bit of conversation because I have it like super blown up on my screen to see chat. So let me do this. Okay, cool. So a little bit with me, um, as you can see on screen that I do have my... Oh, so stuck in crouch. Let me fix that. Cool. I missed a crate in the beginning. Ah, you hate to see that. But this isn't one of those like 100% runs. It's just if I can, I can. But dang, I can't believe I missed it.
There's one in Crash 4. I've been playing Crash 4 as of late. Loving the game on PC. Gameplay differences between the two? Nothing at all. Just cosmetic. Purely cosmetic. Coco actually has one, one or two less death, death animations. Uh, specifically because Crash has one where uh, if he gets cut by a swords guy in the third game, his underwear show. Can't do that for Coco. <laughs> or his boxes, I should say, show. But, uh, just as a little thing about talking about streams and such, uh, just as a little side note about my own streams that I do, uh, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, so I do apologize for time zones, but, uh, what we usually do is, Crash have, like, uh, yes, it has a lot more requirements for full completion. I don't think I'll ever fully complete that. So not only... Well, I'll, I'll explain more in a second. <laughs> um, in terms of stream... Uh, I did not make that. Uh, for, for my streaming, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday... Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, usually. Uh, Monday is Game and Art, where me and my boyfriend, who is Vanderdeer, uh, I play games and he draws. I will not actually be able to get full crates because I don't have the red gem. But, uh, but as well, uh, Wednesday is always Smash Brothers, and Friday is whatever game I feel like at the time. Sometimes, like, la this last Friday, I actually, from one of my viewers, got a special copy of Super Mario 64, where it was me. I was Mario. <laughs> ah. Sorry, I was reading about the whole link pressure. Of Crash 4, uh, going back to that prompt in question, uh, yes, there are a lot more requirements for completion. Uh, this does include, uh, this does include, uh, so in there, there are gems, but they're earned through different things. There's one hidden gem, one, uh, you didn't die more than three times gem, and um, all crates, as usual, and so many Wampa Fruit collected. Because they have their modern version, where they don't base it upon, uh... They don't base it upon, uh, lives anymore, it's just death counter. Which is fair and makes sense. But, uh, there's also... The, the biggest reward out of it is the, uh the insanely perfect relic which is I, oh there's time travels too the insanely perfect relic is you get all all gems and you don't die but they give a reward specifically for that half hour left thank you very much for the notification so, I like showing off this game, just because there's a lot of fun stuff with it.
All right. Looks like I unintentionally died. And you'd be right. There is a secret area. I didn't know about when I first knew about the game. But it's an, of course, an achievement for it. Hard playing with pause. <laughs> how I get the uh, red gem. Do you have a favorite stage? Okay, out of the Crash main game, Crash 2 is my favorite. But that's kind of obvious at this point. Favorite stage, though, I have to say is the second polar bear level on the next floor up. Or, actually, no. It's... I think it's a, no, I like the secret polar bear level. It's all night and it's a little bit challenging. The Crash 2 is definitely my favorite. Uh, and that's including non-main games. Like, honestly, I was a little bit disgusted at how the Mind Over Mutant and Crash of the Titans was. It just didn't feel like a Crash game. But they tried too hard. Crash 2 was my favorite. What makes the second one my favorite? It's the first Crash game I was introduced to. Like, everyone has their, like, game that they absolutely loved as a kid. Oops. Honestly, I think based upon, like, even the newer, newer games where all the maps say the same thing, it sounds like Oogadaba. Oogadaba. So it was like, Oogadaba. But as a kid, of course, uh, according to my neighbors who owned the game, it was Ooh My Pickles. They were older than me, so I believe. I actually bought it on PS, the game on PS1 to enjoy the game to its fullest original originality. It is, for me, a complete classic. If I, if I had to recommend a Crash game, this is like, better than Crash 1 had saved, and Crash 3 introduced the power-up system, because they had to make a gimmick. I just started the hard portion of it, which is to get the red gem. But, also to shy away from Crash for a second. If you want to talk about favorite games, all-time favorite for me is actually Mario Bros. 3. That is a game I played at my grandma's house. That is like... I grew up on that, but if I visited my grandma. But I'm just having a good time and a fun time just playing and chatting. Never intended to mean anything. That said, various people. Rutabaga. All right. 
Rudaviga. I can see that. Well, good to know. In the later games, it's all Ukudaba. Ukudaba. All right, I have. Okay, I actually have one more before I uh, go to the next floor or face the next boss. Go to the next floor and play one of the other favorite levels of mine, like rare levels. I think that was just a uh, quote from the internet. For me, it feels like if someone... Naughty Dog to me is like what Rare is now. People ask him about their previous awesome games they made for someone else's system. Or a character they no longer own. Like... With, uh... Now that Activision owns Crash, it's like... When they made this trilogy again, like remade it, uh, they asked for like their blessing basically. Oh, I did not time that right at all.
Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. But now's not the time. Sorry, there's a little caught. something caught. There are still many crystals in my mouth. To take. <laughs> Remember, the world is counting on you. Hello. To try and chop as many secrets as I can. Hi, welcome. Howdy, 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 howdy. This is the one of the levels I'm Ah, ah, bear. There's just a bunch of bears lined up like that. Bear get stuck. Avenge me! Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Bear has a very boofable nose indeed. All right. Don't approve of the poachers. Awesome, man. Honestly, a lot of my stuff I know is from uh, all like the glitches and such from the uh, speedrunning community, like the glitch high jump, like that. Just get a little boost, higher boost, like one jump higher. I use it all the time. Don't break those. Now they're broken. I bear using you like that. that I am playing with claws on. Uh, okay, bear broke it. Awesome. <gasps> okay. We're actually gonna go to my favorite level soon. It's a secret level. I can't remember if this is it or not. When you move... Controller with jump simulate project <laughs> higher something higher. Yes. Alright. Come on, polar bear. We can do it.
Part of the reason why the other one is my favorite is because, uh, it is a lot harder than it should. Alright, so actually, we collect. Oh, I missed two crates. Dang it. Oh well. Because I love the polar bear. I want to save him. In reality, it's a secret. This is my favorite level coming up. Totally bear. Haha, <laughs> funny name. Oh. Right before the level. Okay. You got a video playing on in a minute? I will play until it happens. It is dark. It is hard. And it's even worse with... Put this on. <laughs> I got the speed. But if we have a minute... Uh, let me, let me plug my stuff very quickly. Hi, I'm Kirby. This is Gaming with Kirby. I... <laughs> ah, the quick fix has had you off track. Fair enough. Uh, quick plug before I get cut off. Hi, I'm Kirby. This is Gaming with Kirby. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, PM. Uh, Monday is always Game and Art. I play games. My boyfriend draws. Wednesday is always Smash. Friday is whatever I feel like. Usually, uh, talking games. I will be back today still with some Jackbox. I will be helping that out. So, hope to see you guys there. Feel free to play along when we do that. But thank you so much for having me here. I greatly, deeply appreciate it. I deeply, 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 deeply appreciate it. 